looking at soft roots here today. We're in the middle of April, uh, middle of February. Sorry, it feels like April. Uh, first of the dandelions are coming out for the hungry bees to nectar upon. And we're looking at soft fruit. And these are our autumn fruiting raspberries. And it's very simple. What we can do with these is just cut them down to the ground. They will grow fruit, new canes this year and fruit again. But I just want to say that if you, even if you only have a small urban garden, grow soft fruit. It's so expensive. Often it's laced with chemicals if you get it from the supermarkets. Grow your own at home organically. It can be contained in a small space. Strawberries and raspberries, there's nothing better from your garden. So the easiest raspberries to maintain these days are the autumn fruiting ones. They fruit later, it right late summer into the early autumn. They're very easy to maintain. You just cut the canes right off low to the ground and they will regrow and fruit this year. Summer fruiting ones are a bit more complicated, but we can talk about those another time. The cold weather's just passed. Perfect time to be planting cane fruits like raspberries. Some we've done up here already and mulched in. These we're just about to do. Now these are summer fruiting raspberries. They have tall canes which need wire and support, as opposed to autumn fruiting raspberries, which are usually shorter and you cut right down each year. So we've got our pot here of tullamine raspberries and they're nice roots on the base of them. Let's take that off and we can see that they're actually beginning to sprout. So we need to get these in the ground. There's little shoots coming from these already. We just need to gently tease these apart and we're going to plant these about 18 inches apart. I don't know what that is in metric but uh, that's the next piece of the job. We're ready to plant our raspberries now. The soil before has been well prepared. This had a trench of peas in it last year, so they've released their nitrogen into the soil naturally to give it back to the raspberries. They don't need to be planted too deep, just like that is perfect. As we said before, about 18 inches apart. What we are going to give them though is some activated biochar and mycorrhizal root support. And this will give fungal support straight away to the roots of the plant and multiply the root run of the plants massively. Mycorrhizal fungi are very good at extracting essential trace elements and minerals from the soil that are not available to the normal roots of the plant. Once we're planted, gently firm, and then the last thing to do, just snip back to a bud we can see is going to grow, slightly angled cut so the rain runs off, and that's ready to grow. Well, we've planted all five of the new raspberries here now and we've chopped the tops off a little bit, found a bud and chopped the tops off, so they're all ready and we've put some mulch on them as well. We got this mulch from a, a local um, pro, a local supplier, it's all uh, nice green mulch. So we'll put, that all, we'll put that all over the raspberries now and we'll move the plastic to make sure that we can suppress the weeds. So that's all done.